Welcome back to Fallout 1.5 Resurrection. It's been a little bit over three months since I recorded the last episode, so uh, I'm going to be pretty terrible at this game. A lot of the more fine points of how to play it um, have probably escaped me, although I, I know the basics, but a lot of it I've probably forgotten. Plus, I kind of forgot all the context on what the hell I was doing. If I was planning on like spending my skill points anywhere in particular, I've forgotten it. If I was planning on going back to some certain place to get some certain thing, I've totally forgotten it. Uh, but I do know that we are in Korath right now, which is, um, I think a place... I think I just explored the map and just found it, right? I think. Just trying to explore more of the map. And I know that I've been putting off going to the Rebirth base which we've identified where that is a little while ago, and that's most likely endgame. It's kind of my main goal, is to destroy the rebirth base. So I've been holding off on that and exploring this town before going there. Um, I guess let's just continue in Korath. So apparently there's some sort of a miner's strike, and I think I need to go inside of the mine here. At least according to this, it says, uh, make sure the miner's strike turns to a revolt. I looked at the very end of my last episode, and I said something like, next episode we're gonna stir the pot? So I guess we need to, like, stir the pot and make people angry? I don't remember why, but alright, let's do it. Also, I know I need ammo, too. I think the most... Uh, I think I have tons of ammo for the sniper rifle, right? 7.6, is that it? No. Full Metal Jacket... Oh, okay, I don't have tons for the Sniper, to be honest. But I've got a decent amount for the Sniper, but what I'm really missing is the 14mm AP. Which I need for the Browning Rifle and for this thing. I think I stopped using this thing because it was eating up too much ammo, even though it was pretty amazing in combat, if I remember right. Uh, especially in Burst Mode. So I really need more 14mm AP, so I'm on the lookout for any shops and stuff. And this looks like it might be a shop. Possibly. Look like a walking refrigerator. I do, don't I? <laughs> For a second I read that as Nestor don't take shit from refrigerator, because this person's text was still up. <laughs> uh, Alright, well they don't sell anything. Are they going to get pissed at me if I try to like loot this? I forgot, do people get annoyed if I just like open up... What if I lockpick it? Oh hey, just from muscle memory I remembered the key to open up this menu. Cool. I like muscle memory. Yeah, so are they gonna get pissed at me if I open this? Whoa. Plasma transformer. Never seen that before. Huh. I don't know what it's used for, but I'll take it. Yeah, they don't care. Alright. Hmm. Well, I don't seem to have any plastic explosives on me, so I guess I'll take dynamite. Dynamite's just a weaker plastic explosive, I think. Looks like these are probably the people I need to... Yeah, I think I need to talk to them and stir them up. Having fun staring at that wall there? Okay. Yeah, I don't think there's much to do in here other than talk to them. And raid a couple lockers. This place is big. Looks empty. Destroyed minecart, sawhorse. Okay, let's just go stir up trouble. Nothing else to do here. Of course, I don't remember who told me to stir up trouble. So, that might not be the best thing to do. Our demands are reasonable. So yeah, I mean, I'll try to use my speed skill before trying to stir up trouble and kill anyone, of course. 
What do you want? You have no business in the mines. I heard you were striking. Yeah, so what? Can you tell me more? We toil till we drop and we're getting paid so we barely survive. Many miners have already died in this place, but nobody cares. Until Nestor gives us a gives us a raise that provides better working conditions, we won't work. And if that don't help, we're ready to start using force. Why don't you just find another job? There's so many job openings in the wasteland, right? Hmm. Is that the opinion of all the miners? Do you see anybody working around here? Okay. Uh, kill one of them new. I don't want to fight if I don't have to. Um, obviously, I'm going to back them, of course. So I could fight with them, it looks like. Um, I don't really want to say any of these other things in particular, but maybe they'll lead to some other option, like... How come you start striking now if things have been so bad for so long? That's a stupid thing to say, but... Mm, I'm willing to fight. Okay, that didn't open up anything. You're willing to fight? If it becomes necessary, we are. If some stranger attacked one of the guards, the miners would start fighting. Okay, I'll stay this stupid option too. Why don't you just go find another job? Yeah, that's stupid. Wait, what? Now the only option is stop striking. Strikes never solve anything. Bye. Uh. What? Okay, that didn't work out so well. I somehow cut myself off from, I guess, the best option. Okay. Heard you were striking. Can you tell me more? Uh, how do we get back there? No, I don't want to kill them. You're willing to fight? Okay, so you're saying that if some stranger attacked one of the guards, the miners would start fighting. Exactly. The strike's been futile for very long now, and the boys are getting impatient. Hmm. I mean, is there some way to negotiate this? They keep talking about Nestor. Who's Nestor? I'm assuming they're the person that... No, maybe... They're... I don't know if they're the person who gave me the quest. I don't remember. Um, how do I tell who's a guard and who's a miner? Anybody with a gun is a guard. Okay. Wait, they don't want me to do that? You told me to like just like get lost. Well, I really don't know what the hell's happening. <laughs> um, maybe I should just leave. Okay, I'm just gonna leave. So I can spark a riot just by hurting one of the guards, obviously, but it, I don't think that's the best thing. A negotiation would be the best thing, but I don't know who to negotiate with. Uh, let me see if I can find Nestor. Right, well, the head police person is named Francis, not Nestor. I don't remember who Nestor is. I'm just gonna get the hell out of Korath. Because I think I was pretty much done with that place anyway. Um, so I guess the next thing to head to is the Rebirth base. Time to start Endgame, I suppose. But the thing is, like... I'm pretty sh No, I'm, I'm certain that everybody's gonna be hostile to me at the Rebirth base, which means I'm probably not gonna be able to resupply, really. And I really do need ammo. So, I think before going there, I'm going to explore around. There's quite a few unexplored parts of the map, but I just want to see if I can find somewhere to resupply, you know? Maybe there's some huge store somewhere in all of this darkness. So, uh, give me a couple minutes and I'm going to check around. Well, hello. What is this? Unexplored. Little location all the way down here below Rat Hole. I started out up here at... Korath, I went up and explored this blackness, nothing there. And then went all the way down here, this is the other big unexplored area, is this kind of like mountainous region. 
And there is something down here. It's fairly close to... Oh, actually, I guess it's not that close to the rebirth base. Never mind. But anyway, let's see what this is. Whoa. Creepy sounding. Turrets, are they active? Uh, let's read the description first. The inconspicuous building before you suggests the presence of an underground complex. However, the entrance is blocked. Is blocked. Uh, around you, there are human remains and several destroyed defense towers. There must have been a fight here at some point in the past. Underground complex. I wish I could explore it, but it sounds like I just can't. Take a look around. Uh, dead gun turn. Okay, it's not active. Good. Plasma grenades. Pile of stones blocking the entrance. I don't know. You know, maybe... Maybe I can blow it up with an explosive. Let's, let's try it. Um, oh. Right, my explosive skills, if I remember right, are so poor that it often explodes as soon as I drop it, so let's make sure my followers, especially the unarmored ones, are not quite there. Okay. Use? No. No, let's move what? Um, there we go. 20 seconds? And then... Drop! No, drop it! Run, 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 run. I guess I didn't fumble with that one. <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, it worked! I'm so excited, I really didn't expect that to work. <laughs> that's so cool! Um, oh, detonated prematurely, well, that's fine. It wasn't as premature as when I killed that person in the jail cell when the bomb went off literally instantly after I dropped it. Explosion has dispersed the cave in. That is so fucking cool. I don't know why that's so exciting. I mean, I blew up some rocks, but for some reason it is. I can loot the cover. Oh, that's like to try to open it. Uh, it's sealed from underneath. Not even a strong explosive could move it. Gotcha. Exhaust port. Yep, all the signs of underground life. I wonder if I'm actually going to need that. I think... Yeah, it's an elevator shaft with no elevator. I think I need to use the rope. Is this the one time I get to use the rope? The one? Remember I kept a rope on me for like forever? Thinking I would need it and I never did. And now when I actually need it, they just give it to me? This is so cool. God, what am I going to find down here? I hope it's not just like Windigos or whatever those are. What? No, you're kidding me. You get trapped in here? You hear rubble falling above you. A section of the ceiling by the elevator has caved in. You barely had time to jump aside to avoid it. You are trapped here. The others are stuck topside. Oh my god, I'm stuck here alone! That is so cool! What have I wandered into? Oh my god. This is like the most exciting thing that's happened in Fallout 1.5. This is so cool. I just see explosions, bodies, I don't see any enemies whatsoever. Deactivated robot? Don't know if that was attacking or defending.
Oh, these are like wall safes or something. What am I doing on weight? Ah, oh, pretty good. 136 out of 185. Geiger counter. Yeah, I've had one forever. Still don't know if it actually does anything. So, another plasma transformer. if I could blow up this pile of rocks, too. Not that there's anything in here that looks like I could do anything with it. Except I can use the hand icon showing up for this pile of rocks. Not for these, that's odd. Oh, there's a working computer over there. Let's go check that out. Yeah, I've only got one explosive left. I don't think a plasma grenade would do anything, so... Probably want to be careful with my use of explosives. Secure tightly in place. Well, this place obviously has some power if this computer is working. Let's see what we can do. Work some magic? Computer doesn't respond. Oh. Um, what if I use my science skill? It doesn't like me very much. Alright. There's nothing hidden on the ground. I'm guessing none of these doors are going to open. Probably need to use a computer to open them. I can't, like, lockpick it, right? Secure by some sort of central locking mechanism, you won't be able to move it. Can I science the doors? No. What the? Chocolate frosted biscuit with a single bite mark. Hard as stone, absolutely indigestible. <laughs> okay, I'll take it. <laughs> Ooh, holodisc. Let's take a look at that. An aged, beaten hollow disk. It has been damaged so much that only part of the data is readable. Uh, I think I just. Yeah. It's already in there. Let's see if I can remember how to get to it. Um. Here? This one? Question mark? Colonel Daryl Fusil, Programma, Commanding Officer, Private Journal for Personal Use Only, October 1st, 2077, my last day in command at the Programma facility. Today we complete the closure of this base. From tomorrow there won't be a soul left. I hope I don't forget to pack anything. The last few days have been turbulent. Everyone is nervous, working hastily to complete their tasks to the ludicrous deadlines being set for us. The fact that our orders came from the president himself did nothing to help people stay calm, either. I tried finding out more about the reasons for suddenly suspending all activity here, but to no avail. And the only thing I do know is we aren't the only ones ordered to terminate their activity like this, with no questions asked. I don't like it. When the army interferes like this, there's always something big cooking. When they moved that large contingent of military hardware to Alaska back in 66, the next thing we knew, we were at war with China within a week. I don't even want to think about what will happen this time. I'm sincerely sorry we cannot continue our work. 
The genetic manipulation project has shown progress, and in my opinion, we're nearing the final breakthrough. Even considering the concerns of some of our scientists, that the definitive specimen may not be controllable, we are definitely getting results. I think some of the scientists allocated to the main project are simply being overcautious. Not that I'll take the storage of our subject lightly. I will personally see that they are placed safely in stasis. Regardless of any chaos that might erupt here in the hours before closure, subject storage is the one procedure we cannot afford to get wrong. I believe that in the event of an escape, a subject would have no trouble punching through even the sturdiest of this base's walls. Which appears to be exactly what just happened, huh? I'm not sure what is going to happen to the people under my authority. The scientists are murmuring about some large base in New Mexico, a supposed joint undertaking being managed by the army and vault tech. They hardly know the specifics. It seems like rumor and hearsay to me. Hell, I don't even know exactly where that base is located. The scientists are just plain curious, hoping they might be assigned there, but I know for a fact they're going to be stowed away someplace safe. Maybe even inside the vaults. A handful of the scientists assigned to our secondary project improving human characteristics are supposed to begin field testing the results for the Secret Service. Everything is top secret, under the auspices of the President. They are to report to the Navarro base in California, and from there, transfer to God only knows where. The soldiers will be reassigned to various other stations. As for me and a few of my people, we'll be reinforcing the base garrison at Mariposa. I'm curious as to what awaits us there. Damn, so they're working on some sort of super secret genetic manipulation project that seemed to involve one particular extraordinarily powerful and dangerous subject, which obviously has broken out. I'm pretty sure it's not still down here, so I'm thinking that subject, perhaps, might be at the Rebirth base. Perhaps they are the leader of the Rebirth base? Or something? This is so damn creepy, I love it. Abandoned and destroyed testing facility. What did I just pick up? I think it was a med kit. Uh Okay. Maybe a stim back or something, I don't know. Can I, like, go down <laughs> or something? Whoa. You see a large hole in the ground. If you're careful enough, you could get down to the second floor, but you won't be able to get back up. Hmm. Huh. Do I want to go down? I won't be able to get back up. See, the thing is, there's a computer here that I can't seem to use. But, I mean, if I can't use it, then I can't use it, right? So... probably do something with that later. I am curious about this, however. I'm going to save it and try using my last explosive. in the hell just happened? That didn't make any sense? I'll go very, very far away. Wait, what? <laughs> what the hell? It's causing my body parts to just explode in a very weird way, even when I'm nowhere close to the explosion? 
I do not understand. Does that happen if I set off an explosive down here, like, anywhere? Let's see what happens to my body. It's just when I try to blow up these rocks? What? Oh, furthermore, any explosives might collapse another part of the ceiling. Oh. So it's structural instability. So I guess because I'm blowing it up, it's killing me? It's just... I don't know why the roof caving in would appear as if I just blew up. That's not really how a cave-in works, but okay. I, I get it. Alright, let's go down. I love this place so much. I'm so glad I explored. Let's go there last, because that's probably where I'm going to end up going. Oh, wait. Oh, I can't, I can't get through here. Hmm. I'm guessing if I blow up anything, it'll probably do it. Uh, yeah, that'll collapse the ceiling. Okay, so I have to go this way. I feel like this is all leading up to something. You know, long, empty hallway and all that. I don't think the subject would still be down here, right? It looks like it escaped. Whoa, Deathclaw. Actually, that should be really easy for me to take out. Um, she's my sniper. I've got more ammo with that. I guess the death claw was gnawing on a rat. Hmm? There you are. When the thing collapsed beneath you, we went to look around to see if we could find another entrance. And here you are. I was starting to doubt you'd survived. Of course, Leicester was scared to death about you. Will you stop with the nonsense so we can go on? I almost got crushed under this falling ceiling, and after that I met a death claw on my way here. You think I'm doing this just for the fun of it? Ready to go, okay. That was so cool. Like, it... What? That was so cool. It, it didn't really have anything to... Like, I didn't have to do that, and I didn't really gain much from it in terms of equipment or anything like that. But just a little bit of world building in such a cool, creepy place. I freaking love it. Ah, oh, and there's the cave. Okay, well, there's still a good chunk of black here, so I'm gonna see if there's anything else hiding. I didn't find anything else on the map, so I figured before going to the rebirth base I should try to find somewhere else to stock up, and I've come to, um... What's this place called? The Empire? In Albuquerque? The, you know, the place I'm good friends with? I think it's called the Empire. And they have kind of the jackpot. 
90 rounds of 14 millimeter. I will take every single bit of that. I guess I'll take all the stim packs too. No harm in that. I think that's it. Yeah, that's good. Um, hmm. So I was heading to the rebirth base, and then it stopped me and says, You encounter MacGyver. Alrighty then. Are you MacGyver? If you came to play hockey, you'll have to wait a little bit until I finish the stadium. Uh. Hmm? Sorry, I haven't introduced myself. My name is MacGyver. As you can see, I'm building a rink for ice hockey here. Great game, don't you think? Tell me about hockey? It's played by two teams. Okay, uh huh. Uh, the whole rink is made out of ice. You mean frozen water? Water that is in dangerously short supply everywhere. Yes, the water is not a problem. Requires a bit of a skill to make it uh, in makeshift conditions, but if you have a piece of paper, half your work is already done. I actually have bigger concern about a cooling device to keep the ice from melting. What's wrong with it? I'm building it using various things, whatever I can find, but I'm missing a couple of components and I'm all out of bubblegum. Without it, it will require more time now, given that you can use bubblegum for almost anything, not to mention the wrapping. Replacing it won't be easy. Okay, okay, so you have ice, what do you use to build the rest? Anything that's lying around, a little bit of wood here, a little bit of sand there, fasten it with a hairpin or a shoelace and you got yourself an ice hockey stadium. <laughs> but what about the players? You can't make those. Once I'm finished, I believe the people will come and they will be happy to play. Oh, sounds great, I'd like to play as well. Great, I'll catch you in. Meanwhile, during your travels, practice shooting on goal. Who exactly are you? Just a man that helps wherever the help is needed. Mm-hmm. Hmm, I carry a lot of junk with me. Just wondering, could you craft something useful out of it? I could, but I don't want to hit or hinder the building of the stadium much longer. So I'll craft you each thing only once. Don't worry, I'll show you how to do it, so later you'll be able to do it as well. And unfortunately, I lost my multifunctional Swiss pocket knife. With it, you can craft anything out of anything. Without it, the possibilities are quite limited. Okay. Um, I can't do it without my pocket knife. Mm -mm. Okay. Interesting. Well, yeah, that's the start of an ice hockey rink, I guess. Looks like you're doing pretty well for yourself, MacGyver. So they need a pocket knife, huh? Does a pocket knife even exist in the game? I mean, I know knives exist, but a pocket knife specifically? I don't know, do you happen to have one on you? What about Lystra? Hmm. Hmm. I have a tool. That probably won't work, but maybe? There's MacGyver. I love that it's not a random encounter, but it's like actually a place. It's pr 
probably nothing out here, but I'm going to go to the edge just to be sure. Oh boy, we're almost there. Oh, that's bad news. And we're almost dead. <laughs> just going to reload that, alright. Let's just go straight to the rebirth base. It's nighttime right now, so let's move around a little bit and make sure we can see. There we go. Ooh. Looks like we really found something with those base coordinates, but do you really think you used to be a ghoul? Damn, if I was in the condition that ghoul from the Hunters was in, I'd be speaking all kinds of shit, too. Matter of fact, if I was in his condition, I'd have already kicked the bucket. Hmm. He was telling the truth. I don't, I'm not quite sure who's talking to me. Is it Carrie? I think it's Carrie. Uh, you sure you want to stay with me? It's going to be dangerous. Wherever you go, danger's always right there behind you, but damn it, I wouldn't want it any other way. Okay. You are going to die many times, Carrie, because you do not have power armor. So yeah, they're giving me like the end game speech, so I'm pretty sure this is the end game really found their base? Mm hmm You gonna stay with me? Of course. Good. What? No speech from my pupper? No speech from my pupper. I think I just got a crap ton of experience points. Ah, oh, so close to leveling up. Yeah, so if you remember, back at the beginning, I put a certain amount of points into, um, I think it was Perception, so that I could get the Sniper perk when I reached, like, I don't know, level 25 or something? Some sort of high level? But obviously, given my level and where we're at in the game, there's no way. It's this this uh, total conversion is just too short to even reach that perk level. Now, are they just going to open fire, or what? Am I going to have a chance to talk here? Huh. I can't talk. Show them the talisman. Ah, so I can pretend to be one of them? That's a captive that I have to take away. You can't just take a captive inside like that. I'll call the guards and they'll take the captive safely. It's not your business anymore. Ooh. Hmm. So I guess I'm gonna have to break them out of jail? All of them? Are they all wait, what? Whoa, 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 you were wrong if you can't... Oh, what? I thought this was part of, like, our plan or something. No, they're just turning on me, because they think I turned on them. Oh. There's got to be a smarter way to do this, right? I don't know, what if I, like, gave them talismans? The problem is, I don't have any talismans left. I think I collected various ones over time, but I think I sold them all, didn't I? Yeah, I've just got my one. I could leave them behind, of course. But that, we just had a speech where they're all like, yeah, we're gonna back you up. Oh, whoops, I ended up behind. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna just see if I can talk to them and say something else to make something else happen, and if not, um, I think I'm gonna try leaving them behind and see what happens. My followers, that is. Let's try beating my chest a bit. I'm Rena, the 13th Reborn! <laughs> Traitor! Yeah, no shit, they're trying to kill me, so identifying myself as that is not a good idea. Pew! Pew pew! 
yeah, um, I think I have to either fight them or leave these people behind. Okay. Thank you for offering to fight with me, but please wait here. I think my pupper can stay. Show him the talisman. Got a feeling it's gonna be a really tough fight. I mean, I'm gonna have to fight someone at some point, right? Pretty sure. No, oh, didn't do anything. Ooh. What's going on over here in this shack? What's going on over here in this cooler? This cooler has food in it. That makes sense. You know, I'm just going to leave behind some of this stuff that I don't think I need. Uh, I don't think I need that. I'll keep the cookie in the tool. Jesus Christ, I really am in the belly of the beast. Look at all of these people. If they... If I actually had to fight them topside and had to fight them in here, God, I'd have to reload so much. Every time anybody got a crit on me, I'd be dead because they'd bypass my armor check. And without my power armor, I am weak. Security drones, tons of ghouls, quite a few power armored people. Yeah, I wonder if... I really do wonder if I had more talismans. If I gave a talisman to each of my followers, if that would be okay and I would be able to get through. But then again, they could see that they're not normal, right? I mean, they could see that they are normal and not mutants, right? Or ghouls, I mean. Unless they were all wearing power armor. Lystra was wearing power armor, but Carrie wasn't. I don't know. I really don't know. But this is what I've got to work with, so we'll go with it. Alright, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end this episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, we're going to see if we can somehow manage to get through the rebirth base without uh, dying a couple dozen times.